What the fuck? Hey guys, what's up? It's the Minecraft Sauce here today doing a cool little tutorial on how to make your own 3D text Minecraft intro kind of thing. So here I've, I've already done something. Uh, as you can see, it just falls from the sky. And if we render this by pressing F12, we've got a pretty derpy lighting. I just had to turn up the sampling. And uh, But this is kind of what we're going for, and I'm going to teach you how to do this. So I'm going to go File, New. All right, there we go. So this program is called Blender. It's completely free, no torrents needed. Uh, everything you make in it is legally yours, as long as everything in it, including textures, I think, is legally yours. Um, and then you can just go to blender.org slash download slash get dash blender to download it. Right now the version is 2.68a and I have 2.66a, but it's not much difference. So um, let's get started. I'm going to assume in this tutorial you know absolutely nothing about Blender. You just want to get a Minecraft intro. Um, so this part of the tutorial, uh, this will be part one, just how to do the text, okay? Um, pretty much nothing else. And then I'm going to go more in depth on the next tutorial, part two, which you can watch later. Okay. So the first thing you need to do is delete this cube. So just press delete and then enter. All right, now I'm going to teach you how to kind of rotate around your scene. So uh, if you hold down your middle mouse button and then kind of drag your mouse around, you can easily rotate around the scene. If you do that and hold shift, you can pan around the scene. And then uh, you can zoom in and out with the mouse wheel. So the controls to get around, if you learn it, you just use those couple of controls. You can easily navigate around the Blender interface with so much ease as you can see here I'm using shift quite a bit so I can do everything here so um the controls are very easy to get around the interface unlike a lot of other 3D animation softwares the next thing is um I'm gonna teach you as I go with the tutorial tutorial so uh first things first I'm gonna go into user preferences and uh, turn on something called screencast so that you can see uh, the keys that I press during the tutorial so there we go as you can see there's this black box now so let's get into it uh, press space it'll bring up a search bar and then type in add text then press enter now we have some text what do we do with this text well we need to rotate it towards the camera first so let's press R to rotate and then we want to rotate it on the Z axis, which is the up axis, up and down. So um, press Z, and then we want to rotate it 90 degrees. So let's just press, type in 90, and then we have it rotated 90. Now we want to uh, rotate it on the Y axis so that it's standing up. So just press R and then Y and then 90. Now we want to edit this text to say something, so I'm just going to go press with uh, the text selected press tab and then backspace and type in whatever you want it to say so I'm gonna have it say epic sauce now um, up here in this tab over this window here we've got uh, this font thing next to this wrench and this uh, ball which is the material tab so the font go here um, scroll down to where it says paragraph and then it's selected as left change the align to center so now our text is perfectly centered and it'll be slightly easy easier to work with um, you can make the text 3d by under geometry in the same tab uh, modification extrude just click it and then type in 0.5 or you can type in higher or lower values depending on how much you want your text extruded so you can also change the font of your text by going into font and then regular and where this file folder is load a new font from a file just click it and then find your windows font file so it comes up with the c drive let's just click windows and then fonts and then here's all your fonts here's all my fonts 
and I'm just gonna find um, a Minecraft font. You can um, download fonts uh, from defont.com if you want. <laughs> I'll have a li link in dis the description, and you can look at a tutorial on how to download fonts if you don't know how to. So here it is. I've selected my font. I'll just open it up, and this is what it looks like. Um, now, depending on this next part depends on your font. Sometimes Blender doesn't do good with all fonts. Find a font that is simple like this and doesn't have like distorted, distorted uh, stuff because it's gonna lag. Like distorted fonts, they're they're gonna lag. Depending on how, like, just look at how demanding it is, and then just think of how how big you need to extrude it and everything. Uh, so. We've got our text now, and if we press 12, F12, this is what it looks like, because the camera's way over here. So let's let's grab the camera. So let's scroll out, grab it, rotate, and then Z, and then 45 since it's rotated 45 degrees, and we just want to have it facing straight. Now let's hold Control, and then click this green arrow, and then we can easily snap it to the grid and drag it to the very center line, which would be right here. Wait, no. I don't know. Okay, and then hold control, bring it down. Let's bring it forward. Alright, now let's rotate it on the Y axis. And 45, no, 20. There we go. And if we render this, we need to zoom out still. So just press 0 on your number pad. And then grab it. So press G. And then press G. Um, X. Here we go. So you get the idea of how to move your camera around in, in Blender. Just move it to where you want it to see the text, alright? Now if we render it, it looks a bit better. Now you can notice that there's a lot of black shadows on the text and it doesn't look very good. I mean, it still looks pretty cool, but no. We need to get rid of that. So in this World tab here, uh, click Environment Lighting. And then if we render this, we have more realistic lighting, and uh, the text is actually supposed to be white. So now we can just delete this lamp here. So right-click it and press Delete, Enter, F12. There we go. So also under the world, we don't need to do this right now, but uh, under Gather Ray Trace. So sampling uh, samples five pretty low so when if the samples are five like this uh, the shadows will often be very grainy but don't worry about this until you actually go to render your scene uh, as a video uh, you can turn up the samples to like let's say 20 it can be very demanding on your computer though uh, and it will take longer to render but the shadows will be a lot smoother since I have a very very fast computer 20 is nothing for me I can do like 150 and that's that's really nice and as you can see it's taking so much longer to render let's just see this render this out yeah I'm just gonna oh the max is 128 Okay, so if it stops rendering now, because I'm trying to tell it to, there we go. I'm going to set it back to 5, so that whenever we render uh, as a preview, we can easily see it. We don't need to worry about grainy shadows right now. So, uh, back to the text. What if we want to make a cool outline on it? Uh, depending on what font you've selected, you can only go so far with the outline. But if you want to go with the outline, what we want to do is Shift-D. And don't worry, we'll get to materials in a minute. So Shift D, and you have this here. Uh, just right click, and now if we render, you can easily tell that they're both in the same position, so it's derping out. But that's what we want. So uh, we need to take this, right click one of them, and drag it back just a little bit, so you can easily see that it's dragged back. And then go into the font tab and change offset, offset of slightly larger and as we can see we have somewhat of an outline but you have to be careful when you do this because sometimes you can find glitches in the text which you don't want I'm just gonna turn this down there we go and now right click the forward text here and let's size it downwards so offset and let's 
I know the maximum before the text starts derping out is negative o point o one seven and as you can see this bigger text here is already derped out so let's turn it down there we go and now looking at it let's render this and as you can see it's obviously got it uh, outlined now so about the materials uh, after you've done this you want to right click this text here and let's go to material and there's no material so we need to create a new one and let's do the same for the other text so now they both have materials you can change the, um, you can put this text to like white yeah white's fine we can make it a brighter white if we want so let's just do that and then the backing we can make it orange if we want and this is what it looks like so if we render this this is what it looks like it looks pretty cool you can even make it blue if you want um, let's do blue let's see what that looks like looks pretty cool looks like slama cow or something um, see we have still got a little derping out text here because that's just how this text is we can uh, actually change that because I know that is a capital A so there's our lowercase a there we go so I fixed that and if you don't like the spacing between the font see I don't like the spacing between this font right now because it is actually quite far as you can see we have a large gap here so what I want to do is we want to click on one of the texts go into the font tab um, scroll down to where is it paragraph again and then character turn it down you can turn it down as much as you want I'm gonna put it at 0.9 and then you have to do that to the other one as well so now it, the text is a little bit more close together pretty cool so now what we want to do is we want to finalize the text uh, so that we can do other stuff with it later uh, I, this is this is the end of the tutorial so I'm gonna right click this text alt C mesh from curve meta surf text and then do that with the other one and then there we go we can uh, right click this and then hold shift whoops whoops what the heck hold shift right click the other one so you can select both of the texts and then in, in this menu make sure you're in object mode object tools um, join if the I just click the join button but if you don't have that menu just press T and now this is our our final result I'm just gonna do one last thing the background is gray so we can make that a light blue if we want uh, by just changing the horizon color uh, to light blue just like that and if we press render we've got our background color changed in the render settings we can change the resolution here uh, it's at 50 percent of full HD which is 1920 by 1080 let's put this at 100 uh, percent it renders as a PNG, not a video file, but we'll get into that later. And um, I'm going to turn up the... Go back into the World tab, turn up the samples, I'm going to put it at, at 50. And then this will be the final render result as just an image. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, watch part two, and I'll go in depth of more intro making for Minecraft. So, see you then.